Welcome to our weekly Forex and Futures forecast. My name is Jay Norris. I teach trading at Trading University. Pretty exciting week. You had a pretty uh, sizable sell-off in the dollar, dollar index. The first chart we'll take a look at. We'll cover all of them. Uh, here's the Australia dollar. Um, pretty good rally here. If you look at the chart, you see the, the couple of red boxes there. Essentially, you, you jump through the 60-day pattern and you jump right into the secondary we've talked about in the past it's tough uh, to get on it's tough that's why counter trend trades are tough and we would consider this this up move of counter trend trading itself yeah you get through some pretty stiff resistance in that that intermediate term pattern and bam you get right into the zone selling zone for a longer term pattern so you see the results of that big big turnaround actually Friday so uh, early in the week the story was the big rally in the Aussie but how did it end on a, a pretty weak note big turnaround there so we think that's representative of the currency market overall where you get the the big big move but then friday spells weakness uh essentially you jump through intermediate term resistance right into the teeth of longer term resistance and then uh, the market turns around there so we'll have to see there but uh, from our perspective we'd definitely be on the short side in the aussie dollar swiss <clears throat> You know, we love this market long term. Nothing has changed here. You had some short term weakness here, uh, took out some interesting intermediate levels. But again, big, big sell off. But then it takes it right into the teeth of longer term support. You definitely have intermediate term support just below in this market. And, you know, we love this guy long term, uh, love an intermediate term. We see this uh, as another buying opportunity. And a buying opportunity, by the way, too, where you probably want to look at leverage. You'd want to look at uh, using leverage to go along this guy uh, at these levels or just a little bit below. Dollar index, uh, same story. There's a look at that beautiful chart. You're right in uh, secondary support. You're in a, in a buy zone there. Um, you shifted all these short and uh, intermediate term patterns lower. But look at that right into the teeth of higher time frame support. And that's why we say, hey, you want to. Uh, go long in here and you probably want to use leverage you don't get too many opportunities like this believe me uh, I do this for a living and you don't get that many opportunities to get a, a nice clean setup against the secondary support like that long-term support for sure it's almost bordering on primary support uh, look at how long uh, term that trend line is so well no that's definitely secondary support there so uh, we, we definitely like going along the dollar index down here and we like the idea of uh, using leverage too Next market we'll take a look at be the U.S. stock market. U.S. stocks, you know, I, I've been saying overall that I'd really like to see that. This is the S&P 500, by the way. Uh, SPY, if you want to trade it in your stock account, it's got a nice dividend to it also. I like this area down here closer to 1760. Um, you know, on the other hand, you get down towards 1800. If you give me a nice double bottom in there, I'll, I'll probably go in. I'll start to nibble there. Uh, but, yeah, you're, you're in. You're just on top of a nice buy zone in this guy longer term let me pop out to a weekly chart but you're not quite there yet right so uh, you have a, a a bit of a double bottom still a little sloppy double bottom i like a cleaner double bottom i like this to be the first bottom and then, and then another uh put another spike down there just around 1800 give me that double bottom i'll focus on that or just work its way all the way down to 1750 and i like it down there so you have stock market you know you've got some uh it's still weak. You may have some weakness ahead. I'm on the sidelines right there. Last market we'll take a look at will be U.S. interest rates. Oh, I'm sorry, the gold market. Let's cover gold. Gold's another one similar to the Aussie where, you know, it, it was easy to get kind of excited there. Here, let me pull up a daily chart on that. There's your daily gold chart. It was easy to get excited about it. It jumped right through uh, that 60-day pattern. You see that box there? You, we had that on there as a resistance zone, a sell zone. But you know, you didn't get a signal in there. It went through there so strongly, you never got a signal in there. And then it jumped right into the primary resistance, longer term, intermediate term resistance. And, and again, frying pan into the fire. No signal in the 60-day jumps right up to the higher time frame. So if you liked, uh, if you liked watching for a sell signal in here in the that 60-day pattern zone, you didn't get it. Uh, focus on it now. And again, I like setting up shorts in this area. I like using margin too you know these this is the times you love being a trader uh heck of an opportunity too i mean these are these are uh, fantastic opportunities when you get sell setups or buy setups in in these longer term uh buy zones and sell zones uh, intermediate term resistance uh, support they don't come along too often so 
many setups here, many opportunities at those longer term uh, points, at, uh, at the longer term structure. And that's really that's the time you have to step out. If if at the end of the year you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have made a difference in your account, you're gonna have made an, uh, you know enough money where it was uh, it was significant, it was worth it. And you'll find a lot of times uh, these are the times to do it. And you may only you know get a couple of times a year where you're at uh, where the markets get stretched to that point where the market makers essentially are giving you a setup. Uh, we get a, what we call it a reset. All these markets you had a big big reset this weekend. It's, as market makers are able to throw that market uh, one way in a big way and it sets them up also to be able to get on back on the uh, back in the predominant direction and uh, successfully make a market basically so big big reset in all these markets last uh, last market we'll take a look at US interest rates you know similar we talked about this in the past yeah you take out uh, some short-term support in US interest rates I'll show you a weekly chart but you know all it does is go right into the teeth of longer term support so there's your there's your longer term chart of u.s interest rates uh they're really cheap not a whole lot of room on the downside there you know it was interesting you had a talk uh you had a lot of talk about uh, negative rates uh, negative u.s interest rates as you're, you're seeing them in europe already yeah that's always a possibility but the bottom line here is it looks like u.s interest rates are, are at the bottom of the trough here uh, and from our perspective, uh, with the U.S. economy on the verge of the typical spring pickup, most recently, and in, in particularly in the last five years, you really have a strong seasonal, strong t trend where you have weakness in the U U.S. economy right now. There's not a lot going on. It's winter in most of the country. But then you get the big pickup in spring, and, and we would anticipate that uh, happening. So keep in mind, you got the spring pickup in the U.S. economy right around the corner. Uh, interest rates very cheap here. We just don't see a whole lot of room down there. So Hey, uh, I'll, I'll end it on this note, that dollar index chart, very beautiful. Good looking chart, nice setup here. That's your weekly, let me pop down to a daily. There you go, uh, it pretty spelled out pretty clear there. Uh, we think that's a buy opportunity. If uh, not a whole lot of risk on it either, you're a buyer at uh, right in here uh, in the high 96, low 97 handle. If it, you get a close below 96 even, then you just step aside and wait for the uh, wait for primary pattern support. Okay, thanks a lot. My name is Jay Norris. I teach trading at Trading University, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.